Ah, oh, g'day. Welcome to Farming Live Australia. The garden season's just around the corner again. It's been too wet here to really garden. By the end of March, it's probably going to dry up enough to start again. One thing I don't own is a little hoe, and I really want one. So I thought while I was in the workshop, I'd make one, and the obvious thing I thought to make one out of was a old disc off a disc plough. I've got plenty of these. They're readily available around here with all the farming that's done. And one thing I've noticed about them is they're excellent steel and the shape is pretty right to make a hoe once you cut a piece out of one. So I thought, well, that's the obvious answer. Stay till the end and see if it works. The first step that I did was to design the shape I wanted and make a pattern on a piece of cardboard. I'm just going to score the pattern down the middle and fold it over and draw around it and then cut it out. That way I know it'll be symmetrical. If you look at the shape of the old plough disc where my finger is, you can see that there's a pronounced curve curving out. And it's already sharp, so that's a good thing. And if you look, the shape's really good. It's curved and it's also a tapered piece of steel which has the strength up near the handle where you need it. So I'm just finding a place where it's appropriate to cut it out of. And what I'm doing here is cleaning the steel where I'm gonna cut it with the plasma cutter just to make sure it cuts easily. As you can see, I'm putting my new plasma cutter to work. It cuts this like butter. You'll see here, if you look at the shape, that just by cutting that out, it naturally makes the correct shape for a hoe. I'm pretty happy with that so far. What I've done here is I've had it in the solution of cleaning stuff that I've got overnight, and it's not long enough, but it will clean it up a fair bit overnight. I'll just give it a bit of a clean up with the disc as well, and that'll be good enough. To demonstrate to you how good this steel is, I'm going to do up the cutting edge with the oil stone and give you a demonstration of how sharp this stuff can be. That was with just a quick sharpen with the oil stone. The only thing that I'd done previous to that was clean it with the flap disc. This is a handle off an old fire rake. I had a helper here who had a lot more muscles than the rake could stand and he broke the handle off, but the handle's not rotten or anything, so I thought, oh, well, I'll reuse that. And here I'm just cutting off the piece of steel for the socket that the handle will fit into. I'm going to split it down the middle on one side, 
and then use the anvil to make a shape that the handle will fit into. So after a bit of massaging and coaxing, I got it to a reasonable shape for a start and I will shape it a bit more once I put the handle in there and fit the handle properly. Now we've got our parts, a socket to put the handle in and we've got the blade and that's going to go on there like that and you can see that's at an angle which is right. As it comes around the circle of swing how you would normally use it it'll work correctly that way. You can see I've put a centre line on here and I'm going to line that up with the socket for the handle and weld it on. <coughs> Normally a hoe wouldn't have the socket just welded on it'd have bracing or something extra like that I don't think it's going to require that in this case it's onto a really good strong fitting and the metal of the actual hoe blade is nice and thick but the commercially made ones are really thin material and often just mild steel they're not anything special whereas this is a lot better steel the other thing I should mention is I'm not welding this socket on with normal welding wire. Okay so here we are I've got her all welded on both around this area and this area in here I put extra weld because that's where the main pressure points are going to be when the hoe is used. I've got this old handle and I'm going to have to shape that to fit that handle now. We're starting to get there. Putting a bit of weld on the end of this rod for two reasons, mainly because I want a bit more metal there and I want to form a head, but also to heat it up red hot so that I can actually peen down the head of the rivet I want to make.
now that I've got the wooden handle attached to the head of the thing I'll clean it all up with one of these surface preparation discs and make it all look nice and pretty the handle from age has got a bit of wear on it and a few little splinters so I'll also give that a clean up and after I test it out later before I pack it away I'll oil the handle these discs are pretty good amazing actually they'll take off paint a clean up wood they'll clean up steel they're one of the better things that I've found in recent years well it's come time for a test I've got a few weeds out here I can try it on so I'll see how it goes well she works perfect no problems whatsoever does exactly what a little garden hose should do. Well, thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia. She works like a beauty. See ya.